Today I'm going to do a tent review on our Toro off-road uh, Skylux rooftop tent. So we'll go over some pros, cons, and then a few user tips. So first of all, uh, this is a, the, the four-person rooftop tent, hard shell. Uh, we'll have some uh, video later, kind of shows how to set it up and how the takedown goes. But for the most part right now, we're just going to have it already pre-set up. Uh, so pros, yeah, it's outstanding for setups, really easy to do. Uh, my wife sets it up, uh, no problem. Uh, even with it up on top of the Jeep, uh, and she's a little vertically challenged, but uh, it's not, not, not an issue for her. Uh, the uh, quality, uh, looks the made with a really, really heavy duty fabric. Uh, we haven't had any issues with uh, rain coming in or anything like that. Uh, we even had it out in the rain without the rain fly on it. And uh, the zippers and everything all hold up really well. There's some other tents out there that have uh, plastic windows uh, built into those. And this one just has the screen and then a, a cloth uh, zip-in section. Uh, for privacy. Uh, it doesn't have the plastic windows. Uh, the problem with those is over time they'll start to uh, get where you can't see through them. Uh, they'll get brittle, they'll crack, and that's going to be an issue down the road. Uh, these don't have that, so they're, they're made with a long-term uh, plan in mind for them. Uh, ladder, the really heavy duty teles telescopic ladder. Uh, just Put two of buttons here, and it all slides out. Up. There's a little uh, strap here for holding it in place. Uh, so when you go to close that, it just stays all attached. Bring it out. The section kind of locks in place. You can see there's plenty of. Sorry, it's some. Uh, we're near a road today, so we got a little uh, traffic coming through. So it's got plenty of uh, length in, uh, in case you're on a hill or if you have a really tall vehicle. Uh, just to adjust it from there, just push these little tabs. It brings it up nice as short as you want it. Extend it back down and then place that in. You want to have a little tension there so that it adds extra stability. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, this really adds a lot to the tent for stabilizing it. Some other great features, uh, you've got lights under here, little LED strips. So these are the inside the tent, just above the door. There's an LED strip here. They are adjustable. Currently, they're offering uh, free ins insulation panels. Uh, we've had them installed one time, but it's uh, out of the six times we've gone camping, uh, we really didn't need it. Uh, but if you are going to be in some colder weather, it is something that can be quite useful. Uh, they just zip in place. Uh, there's some straps and stuff that you kind of hold them in inside. You have uh, insulation for the roof, the walls, the flooring. Uh, we do use the flooring, and that one's always installed. It just helps with uh, uh, keeping it uh, a little drier. <laughs> uh, prevent the condensation from getting up to the, uh, to the mattress. We also installed a, uh, some condensation mat. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, comes with an awning, which is really simple to install. The uh, awning, the onyx, use uh, these collapsible uh, poles. It's uh, kind of a standard pop together like that, and you've got your pole. There's an adjustment at the top that allows you to adjust the length. When we first uh, went to set up our awning, we actually noticed one of the uh, set screws was missing. Uh, I sent the, the owner an email and within three days he had 
had a replacement piece. They even sent me an extra one. Uh, so, like I said, customer service is outstanding. The Annex, uh, another great uh, addition that you can get. Uh, basically attaches in here. Uh, there's a kind of a groove that uh, well, works basically the same as this. Got the thicker area here and then just goes in the groove and slides right in. Uh, that annex goes across this, up around the back, and then down the other side. And then zips on to the front of the rain fly here. So it gives you a nice uh, enclosed area with a really high ceiling. It also comes with a heavy duty removable flooring. So I want to kind of show you how this uh, rain fly works. Uh, you've got these poles here, just uh, go in and out real easily. When you're putting this together, uh, one tip I have is put the bottom in first, okay? Reach out to the end, pull up, and then it just goes right into the little uh, clue right there. So it's definitely the easy way to go. Trip, if you put it in the top first, then you kind of fight with the bottom trying to get it in. But going from the top, a lot easier to do. These pockets here are great for putting your shoes in. You don't track dirt inside your tent. Uh, one thing we've noticed, our tent stays a lot cleaner uh, having a rooftop tent as opposed to uh, when we used a traditional ground tent. Uh, the dogs don't track stuff in as much. We wipe their feet off. And like I said, we take our shoes off all the time going in here where when we had a ground tent, it was just so easy to walk into the tent. And uh, like I said, just, it was always a lot dirtier. Uh, but this having this uh, like I said, slot cleaner, you don't have to worry about snakes or scorpions getting into your tent, depending on where you're at. But, uh, so you just undo the Velcro here on each side. We've got a sunroof in the top. Uh, we spent one night, uh, we had a good clear night. We were able to uh, stay here and have the, the rain, rain fly off. Uh, look at the stars, it was beautiful. It does have the loop so you can hold this up out of the way. You can also unzip this. The next morning there was some rain came in uh, and we had the rain fly off. Uh, fortunately, like I said, the zippers are all waterproof and uh, we didn't have any issue with rain coming in even without the rain fly. Like I said, this all attaches up and then you've got a great view of the sky. So inside here, uh, you see they have shocks. Uh, these help with opening the tent. Uh, and like I said, you just push up lightly and it'll, the shocks will take over and help open the tent for you. Uh, they come with this uh, little stopper basically for when you're, for preventing it from coming down on top of you. Uh, those just kind of clip on there. And then if the wind is really strong or something, it'll prevent that from actually closing down on top of you. Uh, but really simple to go on and off. It's one for each side. All right, so some of the negatives that we've uh, found with the tent, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot. Number one, uh, the mattress. 
Uh, and that's kind of an issue with all rooftop tents. Uh, although they talk about having a memory foam mattress and everything, uh, it's just not thick enough. Uh, we did uh, use it one night. Uh, if you're a back sleeper, it might be all right for you. Uh, but uh, my wife and I both sleep on our sides. Uh, so we quickly got self-inflating mattresses. Uh, they have air with uh, a memory foam inside. Uh, so they kind of they inflate on their own. Uh, they do de-inflate. Uh, pretty and pretty thin uh, and it's actually easier to close the tent with those in there uh, but uh, like I said that the, the mattress that it comes with just is not thick enough uh, to really give you the comfort that you need and that's a uh, important aspect uh, so like I said you'll probably want to upgrade the, the mattress it comes with standard self-locking nuts however for anti-theft purposes I would like to see something a little more secure Toro Off-Road does uh, give you a really nice ratcheting wrench, uh, which is kind of low profile to help you kind of get in uh, underneath the tent and tighten those down. Uh, I was kind of impressed when I saw uh, the quality of the tools they gave me for installing it because I wasn't something I wasn't expecting. We noticed when we put up the onyx and uh, the awning uh, was the, the tie down strings they didn't have any type of adjustment for them. You have to actually tie a knot and adjust them that way. Uh, I'll probably end up making my own, but I'm sure that uh, when the owners see my video, they're probably gonna uh, look into uh, just something quick and easy to add so that those strings are more adjustable. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about on, on our tent over here. This is our privacy tent, uh, but just small little piece like this it's got three holes it allows you to adjust the length quickly and easy uh, and it's definitely something that they might want to look into adding on there uh, I'm gonna like I said build my own when we installed the annex we uh, noticed that like, it does take quite a bit longer to set up uh, it's huge uh, and it's pretty much a two-person job uh, one of the main issues we ran into uh, is the way it uh, attaches. So to install the onyx you've got to come through this groove here and through this outer groove here, or this groove on the, the main part of the tent. Uh, this part will go in and this part goes in but there's just a little extra friction there it makes it kind of difficult and you end up with a kind of a gap here that's kind of not exactly easy to pull you got to just kind of work it through to get it around that that corner uh, maybe if they had made this piece uh, come set back a little farther that aluminum was cut just a little shorter or if they just continued this groove here along the fold out section instead of coming back to the main part of the tent uh, it might make make it a little easier to do. So the only other really negative thing that I've seen with this is the locks. Uh, something that they can definitely improve on. Uh, you can go down, it just barely clips in here and then that pops up and you've got a little key uh, which twists in place and locks that. However, with just a little down pressure, that can pop right off. Uh, so, like I said, these locks definitely something that they need to improve on the tent. Um, not, not that secure. And that's even with everything in there stored in there already. Uh, you can see that they, they come loose fairly easily. I do like the Velcro straps. Uh, if you've kind of got a little overloaded uh, for bedding and pillows and stuff up there, uh, you can kind of pull these down, Velcro it, and slowly work it back down until you, you're able to get it closed. So this is kind of a negative with all rooftop tents. Uh, you have to find level ground, and pretty much any tent you need to. Uh, but with the rooftop tent, uh, you need to have level ground that you can get your vehicle to. Some campsites you can't get into with a vehicle. 
uh, they make your parduck out on the street or something uh, and you can't actually get down into the campsite uh, so it's just one thing to consider if, if with the rooftop tent uh, how you want to camp uh, like I said we like having the vehicle right there all of our supplies everything are inside we don't have to hike back up to the uh, Jeep every time we want to get something uh, get in the cooler or the refrigerator um, just one thing to consider uh, as a con or a pro to that same situation uh, it's easier to level out the Jeep than it is to level out the ground uh, if we needed to we could just put some rocks underneath the on the ground there drive the Jeep up onto the rocks uh, just to get a little more level so as you can see here uh, this is the condensation mat that we installed uh, just a little bit of velcro and kind of holds it in place it's uh, just like one piece covers all the way under uh, and then this is the insulation pad for the flooring uh, that we put on over the top of that uh, to help protect our air mattresses the uh, this is kind of rough the condensation mats a little rough uh, and just to protect it the air mattresses from wear and tear uh, we use the uh, insulation to keep it nice and smooth uh, on the bottom of those air mattresses most people when they do their their storage they'll put everything up in that front edge uh, you can get away with a little bit up there uh, I've probably, like I said, we've used a sleeping bag up there before uh, and everything's still closed fine. But, like I said, because this, uh, the front piece folds over and comes down, uh, it's not a huge space up there that you can actually use. So it does have these uh, nice straps here. As you pull it down, it's gonna help suck this in, uh, the sides in, and uh, just make it a lot easier to, to close up. This strap here is for uh, pulling it closed, and it doesn't take a whole lot. Just kind of lean back into it. And that's going to close it uh, but what before I shut it all the way up I want to give you probably my best tip for this and that is there's lots of space here above the platform uh, that you can use for storage so this is where we put our pillows and we like pillows we've got a uh, four for the two of us uh, but there's a ton of space up here uh, between the platform and the top of the uh, uh, hard shell. Alright, so just throw the pillows up there. We've got our mattress uh, mattresses de-inflated and inside the tent. Uh, we've got some blankets up towards the front, uh, pushed all the way to the front so that it folds over. It doesn't uh, make it too thick. And then like I said, I just arrange these next to the ladder here. Kind of push them back towards their so they're in the center. Grab my straps. And tuck those down. If you let it come down kind of on its own, let the air pull out. On its own, you can pull this tighter with these uh, side straps.
there will be some excess uh, material that's going to poke out here. Just a little bit. Slide that right up in there. Normally you tuck these in too, but I just want to show you real quick how it closes down. So like I say that, we've got our bedding in there, we've got four pillows, tons of space, and you saw how easy it closed uh, with that storage tip. So I'd like to finish with uh, just talking about the uh, Toro Off-Road Company. Uh, the, the people there have been great to work with. Uh, I know they did have some issues when they uh, first got started with their uh, shipping distributor that they used. Uh, there was uh, yeah, one of the best situation. They've changed to a new distributor and moving forward that should be a lot better. The uh, They also uh, we're dealing with COVID-19 during their initial pu uh, push out of the tents and I feel they did an outstanding job on keeping us informed of what was going on with our tents um, and where it was to the best of their knowledge at the time. Uh, they've been great to work with. Uh, for us the pros heavily outweigh the cons uh, with this tent. We absolutely love the tent. There will be a, a few small things I'll probably make some adjustments on, like the locks. Uh, but uh, on the most part, it has been outstanding. And uh, I'm sure we're going to enjoy it for years to come. So. I'm Douglas. And I'm Chazel May. And, and we, we are Overland, Overland Prospector. Prospector. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit like and please subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.